वन ऑफ द मेजर सेकेंडरी ल्यूफॉइड ऑर्गन इज माल्ट दैट इज म्यूकोजा एसोसिएटेड ल्यूफॉइड टिश्यू वॉट इज इट एक्चुअली वी आर वेल फैमिलियर दैट स्कीन गैस्ट्रो इंटेस्टाइनल ट्रैक यूरेटल्स ऑल दीज आर लाइन बाय इपिथेलियल सेल्स द सिंगल लेयर ऑफ इपिथेलियल सेल्स ऑफ कोर्स स्किन कंसिस्ट ऑफ मेनी लेयर्स ऑफ इपिथेलियल सेल्स बट दीज कंटिन्यूस लेयर्स ऑफ इपिथेलियल सेल्स कंसिस्ट ऑफ सर्टन मॉडिफाइड सेल्स कॉल्ड म्यूकोजल सेल्स एंड दीज लाइनिंग्स एसोसिएटेड विथ म्यूकोजल सेल्स आर एक्चुअली गोइंग टू एक्ट एज सेकेंडरी ल्यूफॉइड ऑर्गन इन आवर बॉडी हाउ लुक एट इट यू कैन सी दिस इज द इंटेस्टैनल ह्यूमेन एंड दैट्स वाई दिस इज द एरिया फ्रॉम विच फूड इज गोइंग टू फ्लो एंड दिस इज द इपिथेलियल लेयर ऑफ द इंटेस्टाइन इन बिटवीन दिस यू कैन ऑल्सो हियर देर आर सम डिस्टर्ब टाइप ऑफ सेल्स एंड दीज सेल्स आर ऑल म्यूकोजल सेल्स और एन सेल्स इन आवर बॉडी सच म्यूकोजल सेल्स एम सेल्स आर प्रेजेंट इन जस्ट बिलो द स्किन वेर देर आर मेनी लेयर्स ऑफ इपिथेलियल सेल्स एंड इन बिटवीन द थर्ड और फोर्थ लेयर ऑफ इपिथेलियल सेल्स इन बिटवीन इट ऑल्सो आर प्रेजेंट सच मॉडिफाइड सेल्स कॉल म्यूकोजल सेल्स सच इपिथेलियल सेल्स अलॉन्ग विथ एम सेल्स दैट इज म्यूकोजल सेल्स such linings of epithelial cells are present throughout the nasal cavity then bronchus cavity in our gut that is elementary canal and in ureters in urinogenital systems everywhere and that is actually called mucosa associated lymphoid tissue mucosa because these modified cells are mucosal cells but exactly below these mucosal cells are present a bunch of lymphocytes bunch of lymphocytes which are waiting for the microorganism to enter and they will attack and that's why mucosa associated lymphoid tissue the amount of lymphocytes in mucosa associated lymphoid tissues throughout wherever it is present in our body are much more than the amount of lymphocytes in spleen and lymph nodes and that's why they have important role in our body no doubt skin and other uh, mucosa associated lymphoid tissue are going to act as one of the important innate immune system innate means natural so naturally also they will try to stop the microbes because in this lymphoid tissue we have macrophages we have dendritic cells these are phagocytic cells and that's why if any germ will enter our body they will directly engulf and kill it but they are playing dual role of acquired immunity also if such linings are present with skin that is called skin associated lymphoid tissue salt salt if it is present in the respiratory tract then it is called bronchus associated lymphoid tissue if it is present in the elementary canal that is gut we call it gut associated lymphoid tissue the digestive tract and in the digestive tract suppose this is our digestive system especially i am taking a, a drawing here the small intestine then this is the lumen from which food is going to flow and these linings of the intestine are the epithelial linings and in between these are present certain damaged type of cells actually their cells are not damaged they are designed like that and that's why such disturbed cells which we can observe in between such epithelial cells are the m cells and exactly below that are present such bunch of lymphocytes and other wbcs and these are in the intestine the small intestine are called pears patches 
and these pairs patches are present throughout our small intestine so presence of such pairs patches is actually good and it will be included under gall that is gut associated lymphoid tissue gall bile salt are all the type of malt that is mucosa associated lymphoid tissue now if it is present in the nasal cavity that is in this area before start starting the bronchus then it is called nasal associated lymphoid tissue nalt now in the and all these epithelial linings are ha having m cells what is the speciality of m cells just now we have seen they are flat they have deep pockets they don't have villi or microvilli all these things are not present in them let's take a look of the pears patch we are going to see the malt of pears patch just now we have discussed this is the intestinal lumen from which food is flowing so this is the intestine and suppose this is the small intestine and this is the area from which food is flowing and this is the lining of epithelial cells and in between are present n cells that is mucosal cells along with food you can see microbes are also entering in our body food or water or anything this will get a chance to go inside and of course no doubt in our elementary canal there is a very well developed innate immune system the anatomical barriers stomach it has hcl then digestive juices our uh, uh, microflora all these will always fight with the pathogen and they won't allow this pathogen to grow inside our body but if it will come in more amount some of them might succeed to reach up to the small intestine and through n cells they can enter in the in the pears patch they want entry in the body and n cells are a little bit disturbed type of cells and that's why what do the microbes will think they will think that they through the n cells they will go outside the intestine and they can enter the body so n cell is a pocket and that's why they will try to enter through the n cells and as soon as they will enter what is there there is a bunch of lymphocyte which is waiting just below the n cells where they are going to enter they are going to enter in here not inside the body to so, ye ek fielding hai aur ye fielding set kiye humne so that the we should be able to trap the microbe now this microorganism will enter here and here you can see exactly below the epithelial layer in the pears patch this area is called lamina propria which is rich in lymphocytes and some other macrophages phagocytic cells and others but just below the lamina propria there is a submucosal layer and you can observe in the submucosal layer there is a blood vessel of course intestine is highly vascularized blood vessel present in the submucosal region is going to exchange food oxygen carbon dioxide wastage all this but during that we are very familiar how lymph is formed some amount of plasma with lymphocytes and some other cells will seep out here and this is how lymph is formed but this lymph will return back towards the body through lymph vessels okay it will return back towards the blood through lymph vessels and that's why these components will return back but if microorganisms are present because microbes will come through food and they will definitely get entry and they will be opsonized phagocytosed they will be processed and they will be presented in the group of mhc class 1 as well as class 2 to t c lymphocyte as well as t h lymphocytes by antigen presenting cells exactly same feature you can see we have drawn this part here and these are the epithelial cells and you can see the m cells how they are they are a bit disturbed and they have deep pockets in them in these areas as well as in these areas and that's why microbes thought that they have easy entry through them in the body 
लेकिन वो फंस जाते एज सुन एज दे एंटर एग्जैक्टली हियर आर वेटिंग डेंड्राइटिक सेल मैक्रोफेजेस एंड अदर लिम्फोसाइट्स मेनी इन दैट बी लिम्फोसाइट्स आर ऑल्सो प्रेजेंट and these b lymphocyte as well as dendritic cell as well as macrophages will act as apcs and that's why they will engulf these microbes even some b lymphocytes are present in these pockets of the m cells waiting for the microbe to come inside so complete fielding is ready it is a fielding which is made to kill microbes microbes think that they will enter but they are it's a trap lalach Lalaj buri bola, and that's why they are, they are trapped here, and that's why they are engulfed, processed, and presented. And after that, we are well familiar. Th, Tc, B, all these will start proliferation because the Th lymphocyte will get activated and it will release cytokines. These cytokines will stimulate the B cells to form plasma B cells as well as memory B cells. T C lymphocytes to form plasma T C lymphocyte as well as memory T C lymphocyte. T H lymphocytes will also get stimulated by their own cytokines and T H memory cell, T H plasma cell or T H effector cell. And these plasma B lymphocytes will release antibodies. All the antibodies which are released in the mind. Or in the pear patch, or in salt, bile, gall, all these are IgA type. Why? Immunoglobulin A only, because there are five types of antibody: IgM, IgG, IgA, IgE, and IgD. Out of that, only IgA are secreted here because IgA can easily cross such epithelial linings. IgA, if it can cross the epithelial linings, definitely it will cross it. and it will go in the lumen of the intestine so even if it is a skin associated lymphoid tissue exactly below these layers there is skin associated lymphoid tissue salt is present which will also have m cells so all those microbes which will sit on our skin and suppose by force they will try to enter our body and in between there are many layers but on the second or third layer we have mucosa associated lymphoid tissue so disturbed cells are there through that microbes will try to enter the body and exactly below that what is present is a bunch of these lymphocytes and apcs and that will engulf process and present and this secondary education will take place forming specific plasma b cells which will release specific iga and this iga will cross the epithelial linings and will go here and you can see through antibodies the bacteria will get locked and their motility will get locked and thus bacteria will become inactive malt is such an active secondary lymphocyte that some of the dendritic cells and macrophages present in this spare patch or malt can even find their way through the gap between the epithelial cells so epithelial cells ke beech mein jo gap hai in from that also they can try to engulf bacteria from this side okay and thus these all antibodies will uh, will be secreted and millions of antibodies they will bind to all those bacteria and won't allow them to cause any type of disease or damage to the body this is how the malt is going to work the same is the mechanism in nai bile salt gall everywhere and this is how we have shown it about in the pear patch region okay so this is how of course memory cells are also formed memory b cells memory tc memory th and all these memory cells what they will do they will remain silent during this primary during this first immune response but when the second immune response will take place at that time the memory cells will get activated the habitat in which i am living from so many years and will familiar about the water present in this area i am well familiar about the food which is present area in this area and the type of microorganisms which might enter in our body through food or water or anything even the air so but as the season changes new type of microorganisms emerge out 
and these when will go inside body will require some time to prepare antibodies and of course chemokines cytokines and not only that but several uh, antimicrobial peptides are also released by mild and all these will take some time and that's why as the season changes some new microbes will enter and body will take some time and that's why we call it adjustment in the environment if i will travel from this area to some other area or i will change the habitat in that area air will contain different sets of microbes the food the water the everywhere i will face different types of microorganisms and when they will enter in my body my body will take some time especially the skin associated lymphoid tissue the nasal associated lymphoid tissue bronchus associated lymphoid tissue uh, the gut associated lymphoid tissue especially pears patches all these will take some time and again they will show some response but after a few months i will become used to that because this education has taken place and after that i will also have plasma as well as memory b lymphocytes as well as th as well as tc lymphocytes and they will fall, they will become ready to handle this type of general type of microbes so this is how secondary lymphoid organ mild that is mucosa associated lymphoid tissue works thank you